the modulators in Cubase 14 will breathe a new life into your productions guaranteed. Imagine being able to modulate your plugins, sims, and your channel parameters in any way imaginable. It's all possible now. Let's check them out. Cubase 14 introduces six new modulator types. You can find the modulators right here in the lower zone. If you click on modulators, you will be able to find the different types. So we have LFO, Envelope Follower, Shaper, Macro Knob, Step Modulator, and Mod Scripter. So what is a modulator to begin with? A modulator allows you to automate or animate any parameter inside Cubase, like a filter of a synth or the level of your track. Let me show you how easy it is to introduce a modulator into any parameter. For example, I have an initialized patch in Retrolog right here, and it sounds like this. And let's say I want to add an LFO modulator to my cutoff. All I need to do is go here and show my modulators, and now I can add a modulator. Let's pick an LFO in this case. Now, immediately, if I click on a parameter, this is going to be modulated. Check it out. And now, of course, I can change the parameter of the modulator right here. And the LFO can be synced to your tempo or it can be completely free. You can adjust the depth of the modulator like this and you can turn it from bipolar to unipolar. Let me show you an example where I've set up many destinations to this LFO. Right here I have a Retrolog instance and you will see that I am modulating the cutoff the noise, the number of multi-voices, the reverb mix, and I'm also modulating the mix parameter of the Shimmer plugin, as you can see right here. So now let's see how that sounds. Now, if I want to add a second modulator, it's just as easy as going here and adding a new modulator in slot two. And in this case, let's add the shaper. The shaper works in a similar way to the LFO, but you can create your own custom shapes. So I can take the shape and change the ramp here. I can add more points if I want to and it comes with some pre-made shapes as well. So now if I want to, I can modulate the speed of the LFO with the shaper. So let's go and add a destination and I'm going to add the speed of my LFO. So now as you can see, the shaper modulates the frequency of the LFO and we get this effect. And the shaper modulator can be set into loop mode or one-shot mode, depending on what your needs are. You can also adjust the grid resolution or you can set up your syncing options right here. You can set it to free, sync to project start and MIDI. Next, I want to show you the envelope follower modulator. And this is a modulator that allows you to use any audio signal to modulate a parameter of a plugin, of a synth, of any parameter in Cubase, really. So let me show you an example. I have this loop here. It's very static, very calm. Now, what I can do is I can add an envelope follower modulator and I'm going to use a sidechain signal. In this case, I'm going to use this groove right here, which sounds like this. And what I'm doing is I'm modulating my fader according to the sidechain signal of this groove. Now, the fader of my loop is going to be modulated according to that percussion loop. And here we can set the attack, the release, the threshold, and the gain to modify the modulation coming from the sidechain signal. So if I want to have a little bit of a longer release, I can just turn off the release. And if I want a more choppy sound, I can turn down the release. It goes the same with the attack. If I want a slower attack, I can just turn up the attack. But you don't need to have a sidechain signal necessarily to have the envelope follower work. In this case, I have this drum loop here and I've added a frequency EQ. And I'm using the envelope of this same track 
to modulate the parameters of this EQ. So when the kick drum and snare hits, I'm getting a little bit of boost in the low end, but I'm also getting a little bit of reduction in some harsh frequencies. Check it out. I'm going to open my modulators here and you can see that I have three envelope followers modulating the gain of three bands. I'm going to turn them on and off so that you can see how it sounds. So what we're doing here is we're taking the envelope and the transients of this drum loop to make this EQ boost dynamic. The next one is really exciting and super powerful and it's called the macro knob. Now the macro knob allows you to modulate several parameters using just one knob. So I have a Retrolog instance here with a shimmer reverb added as an insert and I have a macro knob modulator. And this is assigned to so many different parameters. So I have have the mix of my shimmer reverb, I have the pitch of my shimmer reverb, I have the feedback of the shimmer reverb, but I also have the multi detune of my oscillator right here, and I have the multi voices, the delay mix, the filter cutoff, the modulation depth and the LFO frequency. So basically I can start with a very simple and boring sound like this. And now when I turn up the macro knob, you will see all these different parameters changing. Pretty impressive, right? Now the next modulator is the step modulator and this looks like this. As you can see, it has steps. So you can create step sequencer effects. These steps can be synced to your tempo and you can also change their slope. And now you will see that our step modulator controls the macro knob. <laughs> The last modulator I want to talk about is the Mod Scripter and this is a fun one because this allows you to create your own presets using your own scripts. In this case I'm going to use one of the included presets called Apply Randomness and what I'm doing here is I'm using it on a Retrolog instance where I have two oscillators and what I'm doing is I'm adding randomness to the pitch of the oscillator one so that we can emulate this organic character of analog synths. So pitch drift, filter drift and all these lovely things. Let's listen to the sound without the mod scripter first. And now let's add the mod scripter. predictable the drift of the oscillator is. I love this and you can create your own presets if you want to dive into it. We're just scratching the surface of what the modulators can do in Cubase 14. The limit is really your imagination. Mixing, production or sound design, the modulators will be your new best friend. I'll see you in the next one.